Friends, this is Maruti's first electric car in India, and it's called E Vitara. This is Maruti Suzuki's first electric car in India, and in this video, let's know complete details about this Maruti Suzuki E Vitara electric car. Before diving into the video, this is Aditya Vijay, and you're watching Electric Vehicles India. If you are wondering, this is an electrified version of Grand Vitara. No, it's not. It's a fresh and born electric SUV from Maruti Suzuki in India, and it's called Maruti Suzuki E Vitara. Maruti Suzuki has unveiled this electric car in Bharat Mobility Expo, which is happening in Delhi. And Maruti Suzuki is manufacturing this electric car here in India. They are manufacturing this electric car in Maruti Suzuki's Gujarat plant. Now let's see the full 360 degree walk around review of this Maruti Suzuki E Vitara electric car, and then let's dive into the interiors and let's. Check out the interior, and at the end, I'll let you know the technical specifications and pricing details of this Maruti Suzuki E Vitara electric car. So please watch this video till the end. So friends, as you can see, this is the front part and front design of this Maruti Suzuki E Vitara electric car. So starting with the lights, company has given three-spoke matrix DRL in this electric car. So the side indicators also blinks inside this, and this is the single projector LED headlamp of this electric car. One will be on the right side, another will be on the left side, and company has also given. fog lamps under here so basically company has concentrated only on the things which we use in the daily life situations they have not given any connected led drls or they have not given any fancy kind of a things in the lighting setup of this electric car so maruti suzuki is known for their practicality and they have replicated the same inside this maruti suzuki e vitara electric car and here you will get to see the maruti suzuki logo in the chrome finish this won't glow in the night times and practical Quality shows over here, and under this we have the front camera of this electric car. This Maruti Suzuki E Vitara comes with the level two ADAS system. That means it will have a 360 degree camera. So front camera is mounted over here, and this is the radar sensor. We'll get to see the radar camera over there, and this is the radar sensor. Under this we have the number plate holder. Here company has given functional air vent to cool down the battery pack. This front part is a combination of glass finish as well as matte finish. So here we'll get to see the three colors. The first color is of the car color, and this is the matte grey bumper along with the black treatment over here. So this Maruti Suzuki E Vitara is available in a total of ten colors. In that four colors will be dual tone, and the dual tone colors will be available in the top end variants. Coming to the battery pack variants, this is available in two battery pack variant. Base variant comes with forty nine kilowatt hour battery, and top end variant comes with sixty one kilowatt hour battery. I'll let you know the range in a while. So basically, this is how the Maruti Suzuki E Vitara electric car looks from the front. Now let's see what we have in the side profile. Starting with the dimensions, the length of this Maruti Suzuki E Vitara is 4,275 mm. The width is 1,800 mm. The height is 1,635 mm, and the wheelbase, the length from the front tire to rear tire is 2,700 mm, and it has a ground clearance of 180 mm. So it's a very good practical electric car with a very long wheelbase. And coming to the side profile, here we'll get to see the R18 alloy wheels over here, and there is also option to upgrade. to r19 depending upon the variant which you select and here company has your right over vm with a camera integrated under it and side profile is pretty much simple maruti suzuki has not added any fancy features in the side profile of this electric car obviously you can add on by selecting the accessories at the dealership here we'll get to see the handle bar to open the front cabin but to open the rear cabin there is no handle over here the handle bar is over here so you have to click this button to open the rear cabin the i mean the rear seat of this e Vitara electric car. Apart from this, everything is pretty much simple in the right side part of this E Vitara electric car. Now let's head out to the rear part. So this is how the rear part of this E Vitara looks. As you can see, the same LED three-spoke symmetrical light setup has been added at the rear part of this electric car too, and the side indicators blinks inside that. I think this is connected LED tail lamp, but as of now, no tail lamp is blinking inside this. Uh, middle panel of this electric car, and under this we have Maruti Suzuki logo along with E Vitara logo. Here we have the rear glass along with defogger inside it, and a external wiper. And there we have the shark fin antenna along with a tail lamp integrated on the spoiler of this electric car. So under this here we have the rear parking camera of this, and here we have the number plate holder. Now let me open the boot for you. 
there is no electrical function for the boot you have to open the boot physically so this is how the boot space of this e vitara looks i think this is somewhere around 400 to 450 liters there is no much boot space inside it company has used infinity sound system inside this electric car so i think you have to compromise on the boot space inside this electric car but you can close the rear seats of this electric car in 60 by 40 ratio and you can increase the boot space by folding the rear seats and under this we have the first aid kit along with a portable charger and company has gave a spare wheel under the boot space of this electric car so this is the limited boot space in this Mazda Suzuki EV Terra and you will get a light to access this boot space in the night times so let me close the boot space now so this is the rear part of this Mati Suzuki e Vitara electric car. Now let's see the left side part of this electric car where charging point is located. So in the left side we have the charging port of this e Vitara. Once you press this the charging port opens and this is how the charging port of this e Vitara looks. As you can see it's a combination of AC and DC CCS type 1 and type 2 and Mati Suzuki has also showcased their charging station over here. So let me show you that. So this is the charging station of Mati Suzuki. So I think uh, such charging stations is going to set up uh, at the every each and every showroom of Marty Suzuki Nexa. So in future after launching this and after starting deliveries of this e Vitara electric car, Marty Suzuki is going to set up these kind of charging stations at all their dealerships. I exactly don't know the capacity of that and I think uh, this electric car will bear up to 180 to 200 kilowatt of uh, input. So this is all about the exterior of this Marty Suzuki e Vitara. Now let's get inside and see what Mati Suzuki has to offer inside this electric car first let's start from the rear so I'm going into the rear cabin of this electric car first of all if you look at this door so it's a single tone all blacked out and everything is plastic over here except this panel so this covered with a cloth kind of a thing so other than this everything is plastic on the rear panel rear door of this electric car and the windows are electrically operated as of now there is no key fob inside this electric car. that's why the windows are not functioning now let's get inside this Mati Suzuki e Vitara now coming to the comfort so the seat comfort is so good so we have a dual tone interiors in this e vitara electric car it's a combination of black and brown color and the quality of the seats are also very good so they are made up of leather and cloth so i think this is a recyclable cloth so the quality is very good and the cushion is very comfortable coming to the headroom so the headroom is decently enough my height is 5.5 so if you are someone who is above 5 8 or 6 feet i think you can have a bit uncomfort sitting over here because the headroom is a bit on the lower side and the floorboard has been risen over here as this is an electric car the batteries will be on the floorboard so that's why there is no great anti support but the knee room is very comfortable other than that i have a handlebar to grab over here and we also have a small light to access in the night times and here company has gave two ac vents there is no yes there are two chargers there is one type c and there is one type b charger at the rear part so other than that there is nothing much three people can easily sit over here and you can also move this rear seat like this so so basing on your comfort you can adjust the rear seat of this electric car so this is all about the rear cabin of this Mati suzuki e vitara now let's head out to the front cabin here we got the key of this Mati suzuki e vitara electric car and here i unlock this now without any delay let's get inside this is the front door of this electric car as you can see the whole interior is of dual tone colors it's a combination of black and brown colors and the door is also resembles that here we'll have brown color and here we have the gloss and matte color black colors so these are all the buttons you will get to see on the door of this without any delay let's get inside and let's close the door yeah so let me switch on this electric car now so this is the power button once i press this power button this is how the starting animation of this e vitara looks like the ac is on and uh, this is the 360 degree camera it's displaying right now so this is the 10.1 inches infotainment system this is the 10.1 inches driver display and here we get to see the speed and uh, other warnings over here as of now this is a display car so we won't get to see much information in the display of this electric car and as you can see this is the new steering wheel of this e vitara Mati Suzuki has introduced a new steering wheel so this is a flat bottom two spoke premium steering wheel on the left hand side we will get to see all the infotainment controls and on the right side you can control the adas controls 
so all the ADA systems like cruise control, adaptive cruise control, line departure assist, all are provided over here. And coming to the console, so this is the floating console. Under this, we have some space to store our uh, some of the small things. And here, company has given USB charging ports too. So this is the wireless charging pad. This is the cup holders and. Uh, this is the gear knob so if you press this and if you push it to left side you will get into reverse mode and this is the drive mode and once you push it goes to neutral and this is the parking button this is the driving move button and here we have the parking button along with auto hold button here company has given a small glove box so the whole interior is a combination of black and brown colors you can adjust both these seats electronically company has given buttons under this seat to control the position of the driver seat so overall the interiors looks very pretty premium there is a ambient lighting over here as you can see this electric car has all the bells and whistles which other electric cars right now have in the market and uh, here we have the sunshade along with a mirror as well as we'll get to the see the same setup over there this doesn't have any sunroof this is just the moon roof you can't open this glass you can only close this shade so company has compromised at the sunroof and the seats quality is very good it's a combination of two colors brown and black and here we have the small glove box so that's it nothing much to talk about the interiors of this electric car now let's talk about the variants this Mati suzuki e vitara is available in two battery pack options the base comes with 49 kilowatt hour battery company not specified the range of that variant yet but coming to the power figures it can generate 142 bhp power and 189 newton meters of torque and the showroom cost of that variant starts from 17 lakh rupees and the next variant is 61 kilowatt hour it can generate 172 bhp and 189 newton meters of torque and it comes with a claybook range of 5 kilometers on a single charge and the price of that 61 kilowatt hour starts from 22.5 lakh rupees and this e vitara is also available in all wheel drive variant which can generate 300 newton meters of torque and that is available only in 61 kilowatt hour variant and the extra room goes to 26 lakh rupees so these are the complete details of this Mati suzuki e vitara electric car watch your opinion on this please let me know in the comments and if you found the video informative please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe electric vehicles india go green go electric